and the FPSO and possibly lead to oil spillage, which by extension affects aquatic life. Fishermen are being educated on best practices and also being made aware of what constitutes an infringement and the associated sanctions. Of course, we have challenges there by way of fishermen who also go there because of the lights that um, the rigs and then the FPSO produce at night. It gives the big glow, illumination big, and then that attracts fish. So a lot of fishes go there. A lot of fish migrate there. And uh, it's also attracting the fishermen to go. And the fishermen, what they do is they, they cast their net and drift nets, and then they, they let them. And these drift nets drag into uh, the, the, this is the, the, towards the, 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 the vessels and the, the rigs. And the rigs are, uh, they work on what we call um, automatic trust propellers, you know, the, the sort of computer uh, linkage. They come on and then help them to position themselves, um, in, you know, in the same way, the same spot every, every time. And then when the propellers come automatically with this thing, of course, there's a lack of fouling them. So we try to ward them off. And then part of the task force uh, duty is to make sure that the fishermen don't get close to the, the, the FDSO or the IRX. This is the Eastern Naval Command. The Eastern Naval Command is for the strategic importance of the harbor. The area is a large sea room for merchant ships and other shipping vessels. The Navy is highly reliant on the commercial port and competes for space with other vessels. The Navy has no harbor of its own at this command. It is taxed with the general safety and protection of the personnel and equipment in the shipping and the main harbor. It is the responsibility of the Navy to ensure that the Tema shipyard and its environs are protected against any form of intrusion and havoc to any structures such as Valco, the cement factory, whole stores and several other structures within the environs. One of our basic roles is protection of the fishing fleet, protection of the merchant fleet. We check against piracy, we check against smuggling and because the main harbor which is in Ghana, which is in Tema, is in my duration, we have to look after the strategic importance of the harbor because that is where everything economically passes through before it gets to the ordinary people in Ghana to use. At the Tema Naval Base, the Navy is equally on high alert for foreign vessels which enter our domain to poach. The Navy works closely with the Narcotics Control Board, National Security, Ghana Port and Harbors Authority, the Custom Excise and Preventive Service, Immigration and the Bureau of National Investigations to ensure smooth operations of our ports. The fleet of the naval ships have some very interesting names. Sebo, Jata, Achimota, Anzone, Bonsu, Elmina, Afajato, Komenda, Aswanse, Yogaga, and others. On board GNS Sibo. This is the Ghana Navy ship Sibo. It is a duty ship with an original complement or capacity of 45. It is a fast patrol ship built in Germany, meant for attack purposes, fisheries protection, anti-smuggling, search and rescue. This ship is boarded for two main reasons. To ascertain and gather intelligence and also to confirm an earlier information the Navy may have received. So you see the name, the name of the vessel, they paid by bank account in this date. Yeah. This is the amount they paid. This is the, this is the type of vessel, sorry, this is the name of the vessel, DC3, yeah. the one you saw that was written. Yeah. This AF685 is also written there. This is the owner of the vessel, 65. Okay. Beyond 30 meters water depth. So where they are now, they cannot fish. Mm. Because the depth of water, the depth of water is less than 30 meters. 
Yeah. But they were not fishing in the water. They were just okay. passing on the yeah. If they had a net in the water, then it means they are fishing. Okay. So their license and their registration is correct. Now, see what they write here. They say what? Mesh size, 60 millimeters and above. Mm -hmm. So that's the second phase. Yeah. If I check their nets and their mesh size is less than 60 millimeters, then they are doing illegal fishing. Mm. It means they are catching small, small fish. Okay. Once I see a small size net, I check their, their stores, their freezer room or cold room or whatever. You will surely see small fish if they are actually catching small fish. <laughs> we arrest you, there are so many ways. Depending on the situation, compliant, compliant, nothing happening, I can tell you to proceed to harbor and they will come. If they want to be a bit shady, you know, then I can leave two of my people, one or two of my people on board, they will guide them to harbor. If it's very far or we feel that it's a situation that requires you to go to harbor agent to send you straight. Depending on the response of a vessel being given orders by the Navy on sea patrol, boarding the intercepted vessel may either be opposed or non-opposed. Once on board an intercepted vessel, the first line of action by the Navy is to do a security sweep.